After Lincoln vanished, Cassandra took control of the city's underworld. It wasn't a crime boss from Boston to Miami who respected her claim, though, so... Uh, commission, the Colombians, the Cubans, they all went after her. They realized too late they had no idea who they were fighting. Johnny Galante, throat slit, watching Deep Throat in a porn theater. And Manny Moreno, uh, set on fire outside his daughter's quinceanera. Severo Garcia, buried alive on the beach, drowned when the tide came in. Anton Bagroff, beaten to death with crowbars in the parking lot of the Briar Patch. And then the real criminals came for her. The governor declared martial law, sent in the National Guard. So Cassandra shot him in the head on the steps of the Capitol building. After that, everyone got the message. The city belonged to Cassandra. But the government is like a rogue elephant. It's murderous and patient and never forgets. So the state pulled funding for the schools, city maintenance, you name it. If they couldn't get Cassandra, they'd strangle the city until it gave her up. Hurricane Cassandra, the locals called it. I, mean, I, I don't think anyone expected the damage to be so severe that the levees would completely fail, that the flooding would wipe out half the city and force the other half to leave. That, that the city would turn into the ghost town it is today. I mean, it's hard to believe, really. A major American city I mean, left to rot like that. Some say uh, Cassandra was one of the thousands who drowned in the flood. Uh, others say she slipped away to the swamps and still rules what's left of the city's uh, underworld from the bayou. Either way, she's a ghost. She hasn't been seen in years. After Sam Arcano's death, Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> the Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. Uh, the trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. Lincoln made it out to California, worked at the shipyards for a few years. Met him a woman. Seemed like he was gonna get married, but then it, it all came apart. Don't know why. And he started moving around. He went to Alaska, New York, South America. He even went back to Vietnam. Hmm. I, I still get postcards from time to time. You know, I think Lincoln wasn't able to uh, accept the world for what it is or his place in it. Someday, he's going to get tired of running or make a mistake, and I'll be waiting. I promise you that. <laughs>